Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Ocean Streams app to your Fire Stick in 2025. And the very first step you gotta take is getting the app code downloader to your Fire Stick. So if you already have the loader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then follow me. So we go to the search bar on your Fire Stick, open the search and start typing downloader in here. And usually there's even no need to enter the whole name of the app because as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So click on downloader and now here's the app which you need to get to your device. But before actually using downloader, you also need to make sure to set it up in the settings. So now we gotta go to settings, here you go. Click on that button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it, and now in here, what you have to do is turn on developer options on the Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And your case is gonna say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, Make sure to turn on the ADB debugging right here, then go to install known apps. And here, what you have to do is locate downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon app store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now finally, we go back to the list of apps near Fire Stick. Here it is, open it, and there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost only a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All you have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Ukraine right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is gonna be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video or in the description of this video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. Now let's go back to the list of apps near Fire Stick, open it, and now let's use the Downloader on your device. So open the Downloader app, and here in the search bar, start entering a code, which will be 28907. So once again, 28907, that's the code you have to enter. Then you click on Go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. 
And then this web page will open and you have to scroll down until you see a list of categories. And from here, click on movies and TV. You might also have to watch an ad in order to use the website by clicking on this little play button right here. So click on it and then in 20 or 30 seconds, the ad will close. You also have to click continue. And then here at the top in the right corner, you see how much time is left until you can close the ad. And now it's time to close down the ad right here. And then let's again click on movies and TV. Then a huge list of apps will appear and just scroll down until you can see the Ocean Streams app. Here it is, let's click on it. Close this ad as well by clicking on the close button. And then another web page will open, which you have to scroll down until you can see that blue download button. Click on it. And now the download of the app will start. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then press install and make sure that the app also gets properly installed to your Fire TV. And after that, don't click on open yet. Instead, press done as this way you get an option to delete the installation files, which you don't really need anymore on your Fire Stick device. So click on delete and delete once again. This way you will save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And it's really important because by default, your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now let's go back to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, open it up, and here you'll find the Ocean Streams application. So first of all, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines, right next to the Home button on your remote. Click on it, and on that menu on the right side, press on Move to Front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list. And therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just do not forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Then feel free to open this app on your Fire Stick. And in here, enjoy all your favorite movies and TV shows. Of course, I just had to blur out my screen as YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact movies available in here, but in your case, of course, it's not gonna be blurred. So, so enjoy it all and see you next time. Bye-bye.